रॉक्स ऑफ इंडिया ओके द रॉक्स ऑफ इंडिया वी हैव गॉट द ब्रॉड रॉक्स आर वी हैव आर्कियन रॉक्स वी हैव पुराना रॉक्स वी हैव द्रविडियन रॉक्स सेम सेम नेम्स ओके द्रविडियन रॉक्स वी हैव गोंडवाना रॉक्स गोंडवाना रॉक्स एंड वी हैव द आर्यन रॉक्स सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द फिजियोग्राफिक जियोलॉजिकल टाइम वी हैव द रॉक्स ऑल्सो द आर्केन रॉक्स द पुराना रॉक्स द द्रविडियन रॉक्स द गोंडवाना रॉक्स एंड द आर्यन रॉक्स नाउ द आर्केन रॉक्स दीज आर द ओल्डेस्ट रॉक्स दीज आर the oldest rocks of india and arkean rocks are of two types these are of two types we have arkean we have arkean a uh, granite granite and gneiss g n e i s s ye dominant rocks hain and we have arkean sedimentary and sedimentary metamorphosed of rocks there we have arkean rocks the oldest rocks are the arkean rocks okay arkean rocks are of two types arkean granite and gneiss granite and gneiss and arkean sedimentary and sedimentary metamorphosed these are the oldest sedimentary rocks of india these are the oldest Uh, a sedimentary metamorphosed rocks of india of india theek hai arkean granite and gneiss arkean sedimentary sedimentary morphosed okay now these rock ye jo rocks hain these rocks they make up the core the core and the basement cretons what are cretons those are those modified batholiths they are those modified modified batholiths inside so they become the core they become the core of india they become the core of india they become the basement cretons okay they they are the uh, most important uh, fundamental rocks of india the fundamental units That make up the core of the continents. They make up the cretons. Now, ये दोनों मिलकर, these two, these two together, okay? They they are represented in, they are represented in the hard, uh, a shield areas, the shield areas of India. You remember what are shield areas? Shield areas are. the cretons which are exposed the shield areas that kya so this is the continent here inside the continent this is the massive creton this is the massive creton and above the creton these are all sedimentary rocks so it's possible in time these rocks are eroded they are eroded and the creton gets exposed so this was the earlier continent ठीक है, दिस पार्ट हैज बीन इरोडेड एंड नाउ द क्रेटॉन हैज बीन एक्सपोज सो ये जो एक्सपोज पार्ट है दिस एक्सपोज पार्ट दिस इज वॉट इज कॉल्ड एज द क्रेटॉनिक शील्ड दिस इज दिस इज द क्रेटॉनिक क्रेटॉनिक शील्ड दिस इज द एक्सपोज पार्ट एक्सपोज पार्ट ऑफ द क्रेटॉन्स okay and these exposed parts are generally they are elevated plateaus they are generally what they are elevated plateaus they are elevated plateaus highlands ban jate hain right theek hai so what i'm saying is the arkean granites and gneiss and the arkean sedimentaries both of these they are represented in the hard shield areas of india 
वॉट आर यस ऑल ऑफ देम आर आर के करेक्ट ये शील्ड क्या है दीज आर द एक्सपोज दीज आर द एक्सपोज क्रिटॉन्स क्रिटॉन्स एंड नाउ एंड नाउ ओके फाउंड एज नाउ फाउंड एज हाईलैंड एंड द प्लेटोज ओके सो सो वॉट एरियाज आर दीज so these areas are what these areas are like karnataka plateau highlands this is more towards the south this is also called as the dharwad plateau it is also, also called as dharwad plateau it includes the plateau of uh, telangana it includes the uh, plateau of malwa mostly in the north it includes the plateau of bundelkhand bundelkhand it also includes the highlands of of chhota nagpur plateau where are the arcane rocks okay so karnataka plateau the southern part is called as the dharwad plateau plateau of telangana the plateau of malwa and mostly in the north southern malwa has the lava deposits so plateau of malwa the plateau of bundelkhand i hope you know where bundelkhand is southern southern part of up and parts of np bundelkhand and chhota nagpur plateau so these are the important areas of arcane rocks okay arcane rocks yes bundelkhand is jhansi bundelkhand is hamirpur bundelkhand is banda district yes so shivpuri region ye sara bundelkhand ka area hai a part of gwalior also lalitpur also yes so all of that areas of northern mp and southern up those are areas of the dharwad rocks and the common rocks the common uh, uh, rocks of uh, these regions these are schists these are schists very common these are uh phyllites phyllite schists the uh, phyllites like okay. it also include uh, uh, hornblende hornblende is more of a mineral hornblende granite to hai hi granite is there you also have a uh, gneiss nice. these are some of the 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 common rocks of these regions both in archean nice gneiss region and also in the 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 regions of sedimentary metamorphosed theek hai so schist phyllites hornblende okay a granite and gneiss nice. these are some of the common rocks of the archean phyllites yes p h y l i t e s hornblende h o r n b l e n d e hornblende and remember ye jo archean rocks hain these archean rocks these are unfossiliferous they will not have fossils they are unfossiliferous they are azoic they are azoic they will not have remains of old life forms yes archean rocks are metamorphosed likha hai maine they include okay what is gneiss nice? gneiss nice is metamorphosed granite and we also have sedimentary metamorphosed like schist is sedimentary metamorphosed okay phyllites are sedimentary metamorphosed so a short note on arcane rocks of india